Hello and welcome to my buyer series where I go over the buying process in bite-sized chunks. So in the last video I went over buyer consultations and today I want to go over the history of buyer agency and the NAR settlement. So prior to 1993, real estate agents were sub-agents to sellers and represented the seller's interest. 71% of buyers thought they were being represented, but were not. The Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, became involved and changed the business model so both sellers and buyers could be represented by their own agent. Now buyers may have an agent represent their interests and be their advocate. Prior to August 2024, the compensation to the buyer's agent was mostly included in the seller's overall closing costs. Buyers were effectively paying their agent's side of the commission in their purchase price. You may have heard about the recent National Association of Realtors, NAR, settlement. Effective August 2024, written buyer agreements will be required of all Realtors working with buyers prior to touring a home. In other words, if you want to see a property, you will need to sign an agreement first, even if it's a virtual showing. As a result of this litigation, the rules for negotiability and payment of commission have been clarified. Because sellers are not required to offer buyer agent compensation through their listing brokerage, you as the buyer may be responsible for payment of your agent's fee. You have the option to pay your agent directly, see only homes that offer buyer agent compensation, or ask for a seller concession in your offer to purchase. And we'll talk more about that later.